Greetings everyone and welcome back to our second grade YouTube channel for Harriet Tubman Elementary School. It is so wonderful to see you again. So today we're going to be working on or reviewing the work packets that you have received. This is the second grade math learning packet for week one. Now, everybody, let's look and see how our math packet is designed. In our first section here, what we see is our daily fluency. That's just a basic review of some addition and subtraction problems. Next, we have what we call our daily task. That's the new concept or previously learned concept that we're going to be reviewing in this packet. Third, we have the exit ticket. The exit ticket is just a way to practice what you have been taught. All right, now let's look at one of the activities from our week one work packet. It's a daily task. When Pencil Puppy does two digit addition, she adds the tens first. Next, she adds the ones. Then she adds the two numbers to get to the final answer. Try her strategy. The first one has been done for you. So anytime I read a problem, I like to always go back and reread it a second time so I can find any key de details or information. So when Pencil Puppy does two digit addition, I think that's important. So I'm going to highlight that. So I know that she, what, um, what she's using. She's using addition, two-digit addition, what process she's using. She adds the tens first. So next, I'm going to highlight what she does first. She adds the tens in the tens place. Next, oh, that's a transition word. And when I see that transition word, it lets me know something happened before. Okay, before that, she added the tens. Now let's see what she's going to do. Next, she adds the ones. So first, she adds the tens. Second, she's going to add the ones. Then she adds the two numbers to get to the final answers. So Pencil Puppy actually used three steps to solve her problem. So let's look at her example. 37 plus 27. First, she adds the tens. So therefore, she's going to add three tens plus two tens. Three tens is, tw is 30 and two tens is 20. When I add 30 plus 20, I end up with 50. Then she adds the ones. Seven ones plus seven ones is 14 ones. Next, she adds the two problems, the two sums of those two problems together. She adds 50 plus 14, and she comes out with an answer of 64. Now let's try one together. Remember, we're gonna use pencil puppy strategy. Step one, we're gonna add the tens. So we have here is where we're gonna start. So the problem is 58, plus 28. Remember, we're going to start in the tens. So 5 tens is 50. And 2 tens is 20. So 50 plus 20 equals 70. Next, we're going to do the second step. We're going to add the ones. So 8 ones plus 8 ones is 16. And last, we're going to take the sum of the two, uh, the two, the two, the first two problems and add them together. So we have 70 plus 16, and that will give us 80. That will give us 86. All right, I want you to try the next problem on your own. 25 plus 69. Press pause, please, to see, to give yourself some time to figure that out. 
All right, did you give yourself some time to figure it out? I know you did. So let's see what the answer is. So remember, just like Pencil Puppy, we add the tens first. Then we add the ones. Then we add the sum of those two problems together. So 25 plus 69. In 25, we have two tens. In 69, we have six tens. So 20 plus 60 equals 80. Next, we move to the ones place. Five ones plus nine ones equals 14. Now we're going to add those two sums together. 80 plus 14 equals 94. If you said your answer was 94, you are correct. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I wish you safe and happy and healthy rest of your day. Enjoy. Take care. Bye. See you later.